Good morning everyone! I'm just about to have some breakfast and Alex is still in bed at the minute. Today is a Sunday so he's gonna have a little lay in and I'm gonna have, I think, a very unhealthy breakfast. <laughs> I found out that the Reese's Pieces cereal is vegan so I had to try it. It's pretty good, it's pretty tasty but it's very, very sweet. It felt a bit wrong last time I had it for breakfast because it's like having dessert. <laughs> I found these in like the American foods section in Tesco. They're pretty expensive. I think all of the American food in there is because it's like imported, I guess, but I've only been having them every now and again to make them last as long as possible. And because they're just so sweet and sugary that I will die if I eat them too much. I'm gonna have these with my favorite almond milk, which is the unsweetened almond breeze. feels so wrong, but so right. <laughs> it's time to wake Alex up. Wakey wakey. I just put my new video live. It makes me so nervous, like, this point, just sitting waiting to see, like, the general reaction. Yeah, three likes so far. Yay, three people like it. Well, you, you three people, you can't have even watched it yet. I've only just put it live. I think these are just kindness likes. <laughs> now I'm gonna spend probably quite a few hours cleaning the ratties out. Oh, Alex is calling me. He's in Holland and Barrett and I've asked him to get me a lip balm. <laughs> He's probably like, what one do you want? Hello? Can I have bubble gum? Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, he was asking me what lip balm I wanted. <laughs> My only lip balm ran out quite a while ago and then I kept going to Hollander Barrett to try and buy a new one and it was always shut. So my lips are suffering. And Alex popped there this morning so he's on lip balm, a lip balm mission. Edwin is not well and I've taken him to the vets twice and he doesn't seem to be getting any better. I'm giving him his medicine. But I don't know what to do. A bunch of you have been requesting more videos with the rats in and I know I haven't had them in so many videos lately. When we have a nice moment playing together or you know I'm stroking them or whatnot, I've not been so quick to get a camera out lately. I've just been taking it in myself and enjoying it but yes anyway I need to clean them out and then I also need to package up some art prints for my patrons on Patreon today. Are you ready to go back in your nice clean cage real soon? So nice and clean! There you go! Enjoy! The ratties are all clean now and I'm about to have some lunch before I start packaging up uh, the Patreon prints. I'm gonna have what I've been having quite a lot lately. It's so tasty, it's just so so good, I can't stop eating it. The Linda McCartney vegan shredded hoisin duck. I'm gonna have that with some boil in the bag brown rice and some hoisin sauce. We had it for dinner one night as well in wraps like with spring onions and stuff as you would traditionally have the hoisin duck wraps and it was so so tasty. Tasted exactly like I remember the the real thing tasting but it's a lot better because obviously no no poor little duckies had to be shredded. Alex is having a salad for lunch and he found vegan ranch dressing like yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah. And you've been really missing that, haven't you? Well, just like sort of, you know, creamy uh, 
salad dressings and stuff. This is the new lip balm Alex picked me up from Holland & Barrett. This is bubblegum flavour, crazy rumours lip balm. I'm gonna sniff it for the first time. Ooh. Mm. It feels so good to be able to use a lip balm again. I've been for the past few weeks scraping around the inside of my old one and then like wiping it on my lip, which sucks. I'm about to cook dinner now and I'm going to try a new recipe that I've never tried before so I'm not going to be able to explain it to you like very well actually I'm not going to be able to explain it to you at all I'm basically going to film me attempting it it normally takes me like two or three times of making a recipe to properly learn it and to learn how I like to make it the recipe I'm following today is the vegan mac and cheese from Jamie Oliver's website. I've made vegan mac and cheese once before, but it was slightly disappointing. Alex liked it, but I think I can do better. <laughs> or rather, I think Jamie Oliver can do better and I'm gonna try and copy him. I read through all the instructions several times and I'm still like a bit nervous. It just sounds like a lot to do. The thing that makes me most nervous is like the multitasking, like having to do something else while the pasta's boiling and keep an eye on that and then do this and then do that and have it all ready at the same time. Like that's the thing that I really struggle with. So often just to make it easier for myself, I'll do things completely separately and it might take longer, but it means I sort of learn it easier and I can go at my own pace. So I might make like the breadcrumbs and saucy sprinkly stuff first. How do you like my hair by the way? This is how it looks, you know, after doing the green bush, like the next day, <laughs> I just, I feel like, King Charles? Did King Charles have hair like this? I feel like he did. I'm not quite sure how much to do. When I cook this size pasta, I always fill the mug up to like just the top with it. But with the little macaroni pasta, I'm not sure. I might just fill it up a bit more and then I can always eat some of this uh, for lunch tomorrow warmed up if there's too much. I basically had a meltdown trying to cook that and Alex <laughs> saved the day. <laughs> I, I was like, help me! <laughs> we did very well. Thanks. Only because you saved me. But they don't see, but you do cook with me quite a lot. It's just sometimes certain close-ups, like, they won't know that you're helping me. If all of a sudden they're like... makes me look like a good cook. Yeah, if all of a sudden they're like really manly hands, <laughs> that's me. I'm just sat here editing the What I Ate video that I filmed yesterday and the end is so unsatisfying because I don't think I got it right. I think I put too much flour in or something. The mac and cheese was really thick, way too thick. I got it wrong somehow and it really hurts, you know, when you put so much effort in and then your meal is not that good. You feel really let down by yourself. But don't be too disheartened if it doesn't all go to plan. Some of my favorite meals to cook now I absolutely butchered the first time that I tried them. You can still get there. It might be annoying. Maybe some recipes and you were just never meant to be together, but keep trying and you can make delicious things. I believe in you. I believe in me. I believe in all of us. Right, 
that's the end of the video <laughs> i hope that you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to you again soon bye bye